Righty ho, it is the 3rd of December, Friday 2021, and a warm welcome to the channel. Now, you may notice that I do have just behind me there a small little Christmas tree, well, a small little bush, basically, there. And being in the studio doesn't feel very Christmassy at all, but downstairs in the living room does. I am really going off topic. A big thank you to all the people who have bought the cup so far. I know of two, but we will do the advertising for that a little bit later on. And let's go straight into what we have to talk about today. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for a little bit of reading. Today, there's no fancy green screen. It's just me in a chair in my office, and that's your view behind. So, c'est la vie. This is life. Let's get on with it. This is an article I found about the Free Gorges Dam as the 10 world records, then soon to be 11. Free Gorges Dam, by releasing the list of 10 world records, the Free Gorges Dam is the world's biggest dam, the biggest power plant, the biggest consumer of dirt, stone, concrete and steel ever. Even the project's official tally of 1.13 million people displaced makes the list at number 10. Today, the Communist Party is hoping that the dam does not become China's biggest folly. In recent weeks, Chinese officials have admitted that the dam is spawning environmental problems like water pollution and landslides that could become severe. Equally startling, officials want to begin new re relocation programs that will be the biggest than the first. The rising controversy makes it easy to overlook what could have been listed the world's record number 11. The Free Gorges Dam is the world's biggest man-made producer of electricity from renewable energy, hydropower. In fact, it is the centerpiece of one of China's most praised green initiatives, a plan to rapidly expand renewable energy by 2020. And if we go up to date, the Free Gorges Dam then lies at the uncomfortable centre of China's en energy calundrium. The nation's roaring economy, addicted to dirty, coal-fired power plants and pollute the air, and bleach greenhouse glass emissions that contribute global warming. Dams are much cleaner producers of energy, but they have displaced millions of people in China and carved a stark legacy to the landscape. Okay, so you or some people may be saying, hold on, this is old news. Yeah, this is from, you could say, before. I'm not too sure when this article, to be honest with you, was actually released. But this is still going on today. Even though now it's the dry season, and you can see the levels a little bit later on, that everything is sort of quiet and it's going to be colder and maybe there's going to be some snow on the gorges but not on the dam it is going to be there. But it's still a, a matter of next year, 2022, that the floods are going to come back again, the water is going to rise, there's 12 dams before the three gorges, we have to consider the domino effect, we have to see if the shoddy construction can stand up to another battering in 2022. But something interesting is related to the next article, which is this one here. Stimulating landslide introduced tsunamis in the Yangtze River at the Three Gorges Dam or Three Gorges in China. Now, this is something which I'm going to cover, not today, but I am going to cover on the 5th of December. Now, there are certain reasons for it because it is quite controversial. I have to be like mega careful with my YouTube because if I make one little more mistake, they may take me down completely. But by the 5th, I have a little bit of a, a freeway. So I'm just going to be careful and be doing that related to China, Taiwan, and the United States of America. 
Let's take a little break and let's have a look at China's national treasure. A panda, autumn time, Sichuan in the People's Republic of China. The levels look like this, according to the Ministry of Water Resources on a non-secure website. All in Chinese, I'm afraid, but the top one is going to be Chongqing, and that's at 172.7 something. That has gone up again. And third from the bottom, we have the Free Gorges, and it is at 172.49. It's gone down, which is standard for this time of year. The inflow is at 7,000 and the outflow is at 10,700. 10, Let's go on to the weather. If you want to fall asleep for 30 seconds, please do so because it just looks like this. It's just dry and it's dry and it's dry. And the rainfall at the Three Gorges is near enough at zero. There is coming up at the west a little bit of rain and weather coming that way in the latter part or sorry at the beginning of next week but nothing much there and this is pretty standard that it's more related to being actually quite cold or getting colder day by day and that's the weather Now, for the Free Gorges Dam enthusiasts, that's all I really got to do about the dam for today. But I do want to go into some of the comments. And this is from Ronald. Could you tell us about the Large Lake Bayou and the floating cities? Thanks. Merry Christmas, James. Yes, certainly. And if you can wait till round about more closer to the 25, 26, 27th of December. On the 24th, Sophie, my girlfriend, and I are going to go and visit her parents, oh my God, for the day. It's about 150 kilometers away. And I was going to take the motorbike, but I'm actually going to take, I'm going to rent a car. It's just going to be easier for a long journey because it's going to be 300 kilometers in one day. And we are going to take a boat trip on this very large lake right in the middle of Cambodia. So if you can wait a little bit, Ronald, we can actually show you the experience of my girlfriend and I, no Tokyo, I'm, I'm afraid, on this lake. And hopefully we can see some of these floating cities that you've been talking about. More like floating towns or villages, not mega, not mega cities floating. A couple of days ago, I did talk about... Um, the what it's like to work in China and 996 and this comes from Mr Hancock how is the work situation for the blue collar worker construction maintenance etc it's the same they have to go with the boss because of the large workforce or the large population if you're not willing to do the work and People are not educated about the law in China, and the law is always incredibly vague to, and usually the higher up person would win, then these people will work as long as their boss demands. Is there any overtime? Don't really know with that one, but construction does have actual times to do so, but these are not kept to regulation, so they can put a building up in 10 days, for example, and then fall down 20 days later. So it's the same for blue collar and white collar. They are just, they just do as their bosses are told. Totally unfair. Human rights comes into play or labor laws. Well, we know there are labor laws, but mm, they're not strictly enforced. It's all about money for the fat cat. And this message from Trini Trang. Uh, one person actually did say she is a troll. Um, if you are not a troll, then I apologize. I think Neil is responsible for YouTube scrubbing the dislike button because a billion Chinese want to vote him down. 
Okay, well, thank you very much for that. Obviously, because I'm not a computer genius, I don't know what happens with YouTube, and how would I ever be able to, to delete the dislike button? Sometimes you just have to do the basics with a computer and turn it on and turn it off and things come back or log out of your account for 10 seconds or 20 seconds, then go back into it again. But no, not disliking the button. And a billion Chinese want to vote him down. Well, YouTube is not available in China. So how would they vote me if they can't access me? Food for thought. And finally, the mug is still available for sale. $15 is there. They are being, one mug is actually being shipped to me as we speak. And hopefully within the next 10 days, I should be able to hold the mug like this. I do have a tracking number at the moment. It is still in the United States, but day by day, hopefully it gets to Asia. Maybe the next step would be to, let's say, Los Angeles, LAX, then to Hong Kong, HKG, then to the capital city here of Phnom Penh, then to this city here of Siam Rip. And thank you so much to Donald for doing this for us. It's really nice of you. But these are still available. It goes to the orphanage or one orphanage here in Siam Rip. It's not going to be the cash donation. It's going to be that my girlfriend and I will go and buy bags of rice, some canned goods, and maybe some slippers and some t-shirts for the kids there. We're still doing a little bit of research which one to go to, and it's got to be in the proximity of this area. And there are quite a few to choose from. That's quite a hard decision to do. And that is about it for me on Friday the 3rd of December 2021. One, I should be making a video related to the third day of Advent very shortly, and that will be posted before this video. So go and check out the link or whatever, or just go and Google Advent, James Neil Cooper, and you would have day three of Christmas music. Be good, be well, subscribe, share, like, comment would be your Christmas present to me. Thank you.